Okay, so this is the new Samsung Freestyle, and I don't recommend doing that. This is a pre-production unit, so I do need to be a little bit careful. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, new Samsung Freestyle projector, which is in the family of Pico projectors, which those are a type of projector that's small, is portable, compact, easy to travel with, and you can see this fits the bill. Now, I do wanna thank Samsung for sponsoring this video and allowing me to be one of the first to show you what this projector is all about and just give you my first initial experience with this thing. Now, you can see it does come in a really nice compact compact design as I talked about before. Um, it does come in one single color which is white but they will be selling some different skins um, that you can buy to kind of add some different colors to this if you want. Uh, but you can see it's super super compact. It basically fits in my hand. Now I do have uh, big hands but you can see this is in that same type of uh, design that will allow you to throw this into your bag, your purse, your luggage with you and you can take it with you on the go if you're traveling, you're going camping or something. But it still is really good and ideal for using at home too. And the the biggest reason for that is because it does have this built-in stand. So the stand does allow you to rotate the Samsung Freestyle up to 180 degrees. So you can see you have a lot of different uh, places where you can go ahead and angle this to be able to put it on your wall or your ceiling, or you can actually angle it down on your desk if you want to. And this really allows you to have that freestyle type of element to be able to put this anywhere and have an image automatically there for you to be able to watch. Oh, but the dopest way that you can mount this is actually using a socket adapter that they will be selling in certain regions so depending on where you live you might have the option to be able to attach that socket adapter on the base of this projector and then now you can screw it into an overhead light socket if you want to and so now you'll be able to have this thing mounted down and using the remote control that this comes with you can power it on and control it and then now you can basically have an image projected to a wall without having to have this sitting on a desk or something or you can actually have it just project straight down onto a desk or a table so just think about being able to use that in the kitchen while you're cooking you can have it straight down uh, pointing at like the kitchen island or something or in your living room maybe you have like a little stand or a little desk there uh, you can have the uh, projector pointing down and be watching the football game and then on the tv or screen in front of you you can be watching something different so uh, this is one of the coolest things that i've seen for a projector like this and i think that's going to be the first thing on my wish list now this projector will be coming with a lens cap to keep that lens protected especially when you are traveling with it and i like the fact that you can just place it really anywhere there's no specific spot that you need to put it in so that's nice and also this will come with a super long USB-C cable along with a wall adapter so I like the fact that this does use USB-C to be able to um, connect with it to keep power to it and um, I like the fact that that cable is super long too because most projectors that I use I have to use a an extended cable like this to be able to um, have it in position and to be able to use it that way but with this having that super long cable I don't need to do that now another advantage of this using USB-C to charge is that you can use a portable battery pack to be able to have this thing powered just like that if you are using it somewhere where you don't have access to an outlet or you just want to have it uh, maybe in your tent or something when you're camping and now by using this battery pack you truly do have a portable little projector setup but Samsung will be selling their own battery base that you will be able to put on this projector and so you can buy that separately and that's going to be a little bit more integrated and sleeker um, but you don't have to spend that extra money it's good that you can just use uh, one of the battery packs that you might have laying around. Now next to the USB-C port on here, you will find a micro HDMI port and also next to that you'll find a dedicated toggle to be able to mute and unmute the built-in microphone on this freestyle. So this built-in microphone allows you to go hands-free and this works with different voice assistants like Samsung Bixby and Amazon Alexa. Um, so you can just talk to the projector that way or you can also use the remote control that comes with this Samsung freestyle. And so this remote has all of your basic buttons but also it does have some dedicated buttons to be able to launch certain apps like Netflix and Disney Plus and the Amazon Prime Video and also Samsung TV Plus, which Samsung TV Plus, if you don't know, is basically just like free um, kind of television shows and things that you can watch right on the projector without having to pay for anything extra, which is really cool. And then also at the top here, you will find a dedicated uh, microphone button because this remote control also does have a built-in microphone. So you can either talk to the freestyle or if you're a little bit further away, um, you can use the remote control to be able to go hands-free. Um, now, now, this remote control is also RF, so you don't have to actually be pointing it directly at the projector. You could be pointing it up to the sky, down below, left, right, whatever you want to point it to, and it'll still be able to control it. All right, so one of the best attributes about this freestyle projector is that it does have like this instant setup theme about it because when you turn this thing on and no matter where you're pointing it, maybe you move it into the living room or the bedroom or the dining room, it has this instant setup, meaning that it will be able to have autofocus, 
auto leveling and also auto keystone. So basically auto keystone allows you to be able to angle um, the image. Maybe you have the projector maybe a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. Well, that auto keystone would be able to make sure it looks centered when you are looking at it. And then auto focus, of course, is gonna keep things from being blurry. And depending on how far you have the projector away from the wall, it's gonna automatically get those things nice and sharp. And then also with the auto leveling, so maybe you have this thing on a uh, desk or a table or something that's a little bit wobbly, um, that auto leveling will help keep that picture aligned properly. So all three of those things built into this allow you just to turn it on, uh, point it at a surface, and then it should be able to have it uh, in a very nice viewing angle for you. And just like many other projectors that have these type of auto focus and auto modes, they do a great job, but it still is kind of beneficial for you to go in and do it yourself. And I found that especially to be the case with the auto focus with this. So the auto focus was good, but when I went in and did the focus mainly myself, I did get a better overall result. So uh, again, I experienced that same thing with other projectors. So if you do have a, like a 10 seconds, basically takes like 10 seconds uh, to do the focus yourself, I recommend doing that. But if you're just trying to move this around and put it up or set it up for your kids really quickly, the autofocus is definitely going to be plenty good. All right. All right. So now let's talk about the picture quality. So this projector does go up to 1080p and it does support HDR 10 and the uh, peak brightness is 550 lumens, which I think is pretty good for a projector of this size. And you can see from the uh, video footage right here, it does a great job. And I even have the bright on the projector turned down a little bit for the sake of me recording it with my camera so things don't seem too blown out. Oh, and this freestyle does have something called smart calibration. So say you might have like an orange wall or a purple wall, which is not gonna be the best color for a projector, but uh, it will be able to calibrate the color coming from the projector and to be able to make an image that's definitely going to be usable. And the light source is a LED, which is rated to last you for around 20,000 hours. So that's going to be plenty. And then also it can give you a picture size between 30 and 100 inches to play around with. Now this is also a smart projector too. So basically the software on this is going to allow you to already have a lot of your favorite streaming apps built in like Disney Plus, Netflix, and all those things that I've mentioned before. So you're gonna have a lot of that stuff built in so you don't need to plug in you know, some other type of box or um, other type of device to be able to get access to those things. And this does support Wi-Fi, it does support Bluetooth. Uh, you can go wired with that micro HDMI port. So you can still plug in all those other things to have those different experiences. But of course, I'm about that wireless its life right now so I'm liking the built-in software for this and there's also some software in here to kind of light up the room a little bit, especially for different occasions. So um, you have these different ambient modes to choose from. So you have one that might show you like happy birthday or happy new year and stuff. So that's kind of cool to just have this projected at a wall. So when people walk in, they can see that. And so you don't necessarily only have to use this for like watching TV or something. But then also they have different ones and different scenes like a fireplace scene or just something looking outside of a window. Something kind of just, just to kind of light up your space a little bit more. And you also have a few other ones to choose from too. So yeah. I love this ambient mode, especially if you put the lens cap on and maybe you have like a solid color or flashing lights and stuff. You can really kind of like, like make a, a club scene or a party scene uh, to your place. So yeah, the ambient mode is one of those things that low key is one of my uh, favorite things about this projector. All right, so typically I don't talk about like the setting menus and stuff on things because that could be kind of boring. But on this projector, I do like the quick settings that you can get to to be able to change things like the color tone um, or the audio modes or different type of picture profiles. Um, and even you can go in here and change um, the scale and also the uh, location of the image. And so this is especially useful if you are using this with a projector screen. So you can get in here and change the size of the image, but then also you can move it left and right so you don't have to physically move the projector or the desk or stand that you have it on. So I really like that setting. And you also have a setting in here to be able to send the audio from the projector to a Bluetooth speaker. So this includes your wireless earbuds or maybe like another uh, Bluetooth speaker that may be a little bit bigger that you might have situated in another place of the room you can now send that audio over to it. But I did find that the built-in five watt sound system inside of this was plenty. It gets plenty loud. It does have a little bit of bass too, um, but I really like the fact that it is uh, 360 sound as well. So this will be able to allow you to have some good audio no matter if you're sitting to the left or right of the projector or in front of it or behind it. I found that the audio was really consistent. And again, for a projector of this size, I definitely feel like it will fill up most rooms that you put it in. Now, another way you can control this 
projector is also using the smart things app that you can download on your phone or your tablet and this will allow you to connect to the projector to turn it on or off also you can use it as a remote control to be able to navigate um, some of your tv that you're watching or just the menu system just by using touch controls and then you can also use smart view which you find on samsung devices which will allow you to be able to send over content or even mirror your screen over to this projector from your smartphone so that's kind of cool to be able to maybe pull up some photos really quick that you have stored on your phone uh, you can go ahead and show them on this projector just with a couple of taps but then also this projector does support airplay too so if you have a particular ios device you can be able to use that with this and so yeah with that software feature along with everything else i find that samsung did something unique here with this freestyle projector because sometimes with these small portable projectors you're missing something right you might have good hardware with bad software or the opposite but i think with this is definitely has the potential to really kind of change the game of this landscape by having some really great software there with great integrations and also good audio good picture quality and the different accessories as far as like the uh you know the battery mount i mean they also will be selling like this waterproof case that you can get for it as well i mean i think this is going to be a projector that's going to be making some waves in this small portable lightweight travel type of uh kind of category right here and so the price of this projector is $8.99 and that's a lot of money but when you do look at the feature set and the performance from a projector of this small size that you can practically take everywhere with you from my experience with other projectors i think it's priced pretty fairly uh and so i'll leave a link down below to samsung's website in the description of this video so go check that out you can get even more information about this projector you can also pre-order it if you want to um, but for right now i'm about to wrap up again shout out to samsung for sponsoring this video and i do want to thank you for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and also the like button if you did like this video uh, but like always i do want to thank you for watching and i will catch you later peace